Thank you so much. Thank you, Ambassador, our chief guest, Mrs. Lal. Thank you very much. And with the lighting of the candle, the official opening of Namaste Stockholm has taken place. Can we have a big round of applause? Thank you. I would now, it's an honor to welcome Ambassador of India to Sweden, Mr. Tanmay Lal, to please come and give us the welcome inauguration speech. Thank you, Mr. Lal. A big round of applause for Mr. Lal, please. Namaste, Stockholm. Uh, may I first welcome Honorable Governor of Stockholm County, Ms. Anna Shinbari Batra, here today. And we are grateful that she has uh, agreed to inaugurate this year's special Namaste Stockholm. In fact, this year Namaste Stockholm is back in a bigger avatar. This year is special because uh, India and Sweden are celebrating 75 years of uh, diplomatic relations. And uh, this year we are also holding parallel presidencies of the European Union uh, and the G20. In fact, uh, today a landmark G20 summit is on in Delhi, even as we speak. 2023 is also special for us because two weeks ago India's uh, Vikram lander landed on the moon. Uh, you may have seen some remarkable pictures of Pragyan rover going for a drive on the lunar surface around the Shiva Shakti site. Some of our partners here today uh, represent Indian companies that have actively contributed to this historic uh, Chandrayaan-3 mission. So many congratulations to them. We welcome all partners who have joined hands today for this year's Namaste Stockholm. And special thanks, of course, to Mr. Sanju Malhotra and his team at India Unlimited for putting on this huge show. The, the great success of the Namaste Stockholm from last year found a special mention in the speech by Honorable Minister for Foreign Trade, Johan Fauchel, on our Republic Day reception this year in January. This year's uh, Global Business Climate Survey, which was released by the Business Sweden and the Swedish Chamber of Commerce uh, only last week, shows that India has emerged as one of the most preferred business destinations for Sweden. We have also just completed a very successful roadshow of uh, Time for India, organized by the Business Sweden and uh, the Team Sweden in India, where we also participated actively. There was huge interest uh, in all the cities, Stockholm, Linköping, uh, Malmö and Gothenburg on the transformational India story and what that means for Sweden and uh, the rest of the world. Yesterday we had a great session with uh, Indian companies who have invested in Sweden uh, when they talked about their growth journeys and we are proud of the contribution made by Indian companies and professionals to the Swedish economy and society. Some of you may have joined the yoga session, uh, session here earlier today. In June, it was wonderful to see the United Nations International Day of Yoga being celebrated across Sweden, across several cities uh, here in Sweden. I may add that uh, this year, the United Nations is, uh, has designated 2023 as the International Year of Millets at the at, uh, Indian proposal. Millets are a climate smart superfood and we hope that this will promote their greater use. India's mega diversity is uh, reflected in its, uh, in its cuisine. We invite you to sample some of these here today. The uh, West festive season has begun in India. And last few days we have celebrated Onam and Janmashtami uh, with the Indian community and devotees, both in uh, Stockholm and in Gothenburg. And many more festivals are coming up. We are excited to bring you a glimpse of the vibrant colors, uh, the sights and sounds and tastes of Bharat here in Kulsat Garden with Namaste Stockholm. I understand that there are nearly 40 performances being uh, done today by several hundreds of uh, artists, mostly amazing local Indian talent and uh, their friends. So our huge compliments to all the artists who are performing here today and everybody else who's, be, uh, who's associated with this uh, Namaste Stockholm. We hope that all of you will enjoy Namaste Stockholm. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you so much, Ambassador. Thank you. Can we have another big round of applause, please? Thank you.
It's my uh, true honor to now invite uh, the Lands Hovding of Stockholm region, or as we would say, the governor of the Stockholm region, Anna Shinberi Batra. And we warmly welcome you, ma'am, to please come and inaugurate Namaste Stockholm. Sanju, uh, Ambassador, honored guests, partners, Stockholmer, everyone else here. I'm very happy to see that there's so many coming for this inauguration, which makes me enormously proud as governor of this beautiful region. It's actually over 100 years ago that a Stockholm founded company called Ericsson installed the first phone switch in India. So business and exchange has long historic ties. We have exchanged technology, culture, communication, and people who make all this happen for many, many years, especially here from Stockholm. It's this year 75 years since we've established diplomatic relations between our countries, formally, nationally, and also on the political level. The ambassador mentioned the G20 meeting. The last few years only we have seen both in and out coming state visits between our countries in both directions. 2015, the president of India came here. Uh, 2019, the uh, king, his majesty the king, Carl Gustav of Sweden, led an enormous delegation to India. So we have just started, but we have many years of very fruitful cooperation. It's over, an exchange is about people, it's about knowledge, it's about culture, it's about people. And just over 50 years, a young student came for just a few months, he thought, to a Swedish university, he studied medicine. His name was Satish Batra, he met a Swedish girl, and he stayed, and he lives in Sweden to this date. And they had a son, David Batra, who is now actually the first uh, of Indian origin, of course, but also the first uh, male companion to a governor in Stockholm. So the first man who follows a, a governor to Stockholm to the residence just up at Slots back in here. We have the first Ganesha statue in the residence, I think. Unfortunately, he couldn't be here today. He sends, of course, hi to everyone. And as you know, he's a very active member of this community, both of them, in a sense, the Swedish and the Indian community. Because again, exchange is about uh, both things. We cannot live from technology alone. We love living from technology and trade in this country and in this region. We are the number two region in the world after Silicon Valley only when it comes to unicorns compared to our population. So this is a global tech hub, as the ambassador knows, as the Indian investors also know that the ambassador told us about. But this cannot be successful if it's not about also people. It's about wanting to come here, uh, having the possibility to come here, and wanting to come live here with your family. Like my father-in-law did, like Robin Sukia's father once did, hello Robin, one of the other few ones who came as students many years ago, and the family stayed. But in order for us to be one of the tech hubs in the world, and in order for Sweden-India exchange to be prosperous and successful, it's also about people, it's also about culture, and it's about thriving together through the cultural exchange. And that is why I'm so proud and happy to be invited here today, and that's why I'm so happy to see all these aspects of our exchange taking place here in Kungsvården today and hopefully for many, many years to come. Thank you again and welcome to the festival. Thank you. Thank you, Anna Shinberi Batra, so much. And uh, with this, I would really like to uh, thank Ambassador Tanmaya Lal and Mrs. Lal the chief guest, the governor of Stockholm, Anna Shinberi Batra, Sarvajit Deb from LTI Mindtree, Vinay Firake from Wipro. These are the names of the companies without whose support we couldn't do this festival. So we are so, so grateful for these, um, basically, uh, mostly Indian companies who have either invested in India in uh, with talent or 
in real investments, uh, whether it is in energy or it is in uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, fabric or uh, maybe that's a good word to put it. Uh, we have Anup Gorgi from Kalpataru Power. Uh, we have Bjorn Bedin from Aditya Villa Dome Show Fabricer. Asim Kumar Paul from Larshan and Turbo Technology Services. Gunila Bolin from Bharat Forge Tilsta and Anuj Behel from Enforces. So ladies and gentlemen, please give them a big, big round of applause and a huge thanks from us here in Namaste Stockholm. And I'd like to now invite the students from ISSR, which is the International School for Stockholm Region. They have been volunteering and they come every year. Um, and can you please come forward and please thank our uh, guests, our chief guests, the ambassador. Uh, we are so, so grateful for all your support uh, to connect Sweden and India through not only business but also culture and people to people ties. And I don't want to forget what is, and will you please stay here? Please, please do stay. Uh, I'd also like to thank my team, uh, Ronya, Moti, Reina, Anes, Zivile, Sofia, Tariq, Swarupa, Rana, all the fantastic students from KTH. We have eight engineers from KTH here today supporting us. Yashwant, and I think a colleague to Yashwant, Jalpa for the decor and the children's activity tent. And also our colleagues at Kung Segor and Okan, Simon, Yohan, and many, many more. So. Together, really, these are all the fantastic support that we are getting in, in Stockholm, but it's also people who are connecting Sweden and India in so many ways. And you all are the future, and I think the future looks bright, including <laughs> for, for the Sweden and India connection, yes? Hi, everyone. I just wanted to thank everyone for coming today. Hopefully, you're having a really, really good time. Um, I'm very impressed with uh, the Indian presence here in Stockholm. We're establishing such a connection between what my homeland and um, Sweden, where I'm studying currently. So thank you very much, and I hope you're going to have a good time. Thank you. So he took that initiative, and he's come up. So a future leader is born tonight, or today, uh, sorry. And uh, with this, can we give everyone a big, big namaste? Like, hold your hands, a big namaste, and say, Warm welcome to Namaste Stockholm. Have a beautiful day. Enjoy the food, enjoy the culture, and just immerse yourself in India, in Stockholm. Namaste.